so good I've been cutting my feet Best thing about her is all of the green She don't be stopping, she get what she needs Stop by my honey, better be cause Look at her funny, we're gonna brawl Do it 100, I'm bringing the chalk And for my next number Hey, 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 beauty babes What's going on? What's the deal? It is January 2nd 2023 and guess what? She ready? No. So what's up with it, y'all? I'm headed to the nail shop to get my nails done. I'm doing a lot of filming Tuesday and Wednesday. And I need new nails. I can't have Christmas nails at all. I just had a thought. So what we got going on right now is the January 2nd of 2023. I am moving. Uh, I get new key, my keys to my new apartment um, this Saturday. And I'm um, trying to get on Friday. Y'all know how we do. Like, um, can I come after hours? Like, when y'all about to close, get my keys. So that's what uh, the goal is. If not, I just get them Saturday. I'm trying to get to the nail shop a few minutes early. The earlier I get there, I have a dentist appointment. <sighs> this traffic. All of it is kind of in the same area, the dentist and the apartments. And then Utah College is playing football today at 4. So I need to be back home by 4. Uh, I thought about going and sit at the bar and watch the game but i have so much stuff i need to do that um even though the game will be on i need to work and um i ended the year so that y'all guys so know uh the last week of december i really focused on getting out old, old content edited and done so if you go look at my channel like for one week i just like drop video 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 like i think i dropped four videos last week i still have two videos left which is good because i can put them in the chamber and what that means is i have i'm gonna use one for next week which is a coat haul from amazon and then uh sweatsuits from sheen so i'm excited about that the coat haul is pretty much done i just got to edit the sheen video but i have editors now but i want to say my editors for all my new content so that's that and so i'm moving and with me moving just that's why i have to focus this week on tomorrow and wednesday using my time wisely film and part of today i have to i know what i'm gonna film because i bought makeup by mario's foundation and i bought rare beauty's um new concealer that was out of the highlighter which was beautiful and um so that's what i got going on that's that and just really focusing and prioritizing just being intentional with my time i went to church sunday i mean saturday night bishop jakes if y'all didn't if you haven't had a chance make sure to check out the potter's house new new year's eve watch service and then also check out sarah jakes the day the next day january 1st those two sermons like really really like release me or whatever like any bad energy or thoughts and doubt and fear and all those things and then it just made a lot of sense um what they talked about but what's going on in my life right now like it made a lot of sense how meshed everything together and it just made me understand okay god i see what you've been doing like he has my undivided attention and i was able to receive what i needed to hear to you know get ready to go to the next level so you know the goal right now is just to sit down play my content and just really get on schedule with that but also banging out some dope content and being authentic to myself and to you guys you know and which i'm already there i was there but it's just more so um that and then just really figuring out okay what i'm gonna film how i'm gonna film it or whatever the case is especially with me moving because i have more space when i move my kitchen is bigger my living area is bigger my bedroom is bigger which i'll talk about all that in another video yeah so she planning she got content for y'all uh she's gonna show up and if she ain't showing up, I need y'all to be like, Bridget, what you doing? Where you at, sis? But um, the way I already was on point with everything. But even now, it's just like, I ain't got no choice but to show up. I ain't going to feel right. Like this morning, like Monday, is the day for me to relax. But I know I have things to do. I know next week is going to be a lot. And I was like, girl, get up out the bed and go start your day and go do what you need to do. I need to put clothes up and a whole bunch of other stuff. But I was just like, I got a lot of stuff to do and uh, i did it and that's what we doing you know and i hope to inspire and motivate one of y'all to be like whatever it is you're trying to do just to stay focused and do it and you know just keep showing up regardless just show up i would definitely be filming some valentine's day content in the next two weeks so she might be getting valentine's day nails 
the crazy thing is i seen some on pinterest and i was like mm, and i might not i don't know uh i might just keep it simple and call it a day uh the guy that normally the other guy that does my nails sometimes he's out of town so it's kind of like eh, i'll see you never know with me but i'm about to pull up to the nail shop so i'll talk to y'all a little later the sun is sunny let's see okay just finished getting my nails done ain't they cute ain't they cute let me tell y'all i have to tell y'all what happened so i just i'm leaving the dentist i'm gonna tell y'all my dentist name in a minute one day so i just pitched them they want me i grind i grip my teeth real bad right the problem is to grit my teeth and messing with my, my teeth shift and my gums uh the dentist that did my braces is different from this dentist he did my implants i got one here and two here he actually cut the thingy on my lip, that shit hurt it. But I had got like so much work done when he did that. Yeah, we have to have a whole conversation about this. So I had a root canal on my tooth once I got my veneers, right? That's a whole nother conversation about getting dental work and knowing like, and I ain't go out the country or nothing like that, but it is what it is. I just know how to move different now. Like after having my veneers like three years to two, I was on set one day. Let me, oh, let me tell y'all about this. I was on set one day, right? Doing a, a movie. We ain't talked about the movie before. But, so yeah, so pretty much I was on set. I bit into a, um, a gummy cherry slice, a cherry slice. Two came out. I was like, oh my God. The, the veneer it came off and then some of my tooth and anyways I was just like I'm over I go to the dentist I went to the dentist to actually did my implants but I just was like um like you had to do a root canal right after I got my um my veneers like that tooth didn't just wake up one day and be like oh it needs a root canal so that was something that needed to be done prior to so anyways I had looked around so I found this dentist here so pretty much I came over here whatever the case is and um he uh, pulled the tooth, and when he pulled the tooth, he put the implant in, and he put some gum in, or whatever, however he did, he did it all at one time. Well, it was, I don't want to say it like this, but, like, it was rejected, so I looked up, so I had it, like, it was a lid knot, the implant was coming towards my gum. Boom. Go back in, because it took, they tell you, six months to a year, six months to have a long, it, it takes that long so um i go back to the doctor or whatever he tells me okay we need to take it out and redo it when i tell y'all that was the worst damn pain feeling i had ever had in my life it um it healed and while i was doing it he was like bridget some with he's into sleeping snoring and things you get done he's really into that he's pretty much he said he was doing people veneers and crowns and they was coming out but he was like what is going on we're kind of find out people gritting they teeth so he started doing a study on that and trying to figure out how to stop people from gritting their teeth he uh cut my lip thing the slit on my lip he cut it he cut this oh it's gone he cut that right here he cut it right so this had to heal this over here had to heal where the implant was and he's like well since i'm over here let me go on and do it he did it baby let me tell y'all something i it would like i think it was the healing process i didn't like so now he want to cut my tongue he gonna cut that and his assistant like bridget i got it before the holidays i sleep so much better she said she couldn't sleep good so that was part of her problem um and then the front office lady said she grind her teeth really bad she got it she said i ain't grind my teeth no more like i grind my teeth bad so i was like man then she showed they showed me that price i was like um i'm not paying that they be laughing at me he told me about them braces like i'm not finna, uh -uh. i pitched i was like y'all need to let me make y'all a youtube video i'm a customer i'm a real customer uh it'd be real because y'all know i'm keeping so 100 with y'all about it or whatever the case is so mm -hmm. uh, and then he's the dentist for my braces talking about he want to do a um a permanent retainer i don't want that i don't want nothing else on my damn teeth give me a, a retainer that i can wear at night time so yeah so that's what i got going on what time is 4 14 so i don't miss the first 14 minutes of the football game so i'm gonna watch half the game here while i eat and then at halftime i'm gonna burn like usher and go home and watch the rest of the game. When I watch the rest of the game, I can finish working. Uh, then tomorrow I'll be up early. And she can't run a kind of fast. I'll be up early, uh, working or whatever. But I'll 
I don't know, y'all. I'm gonna keep y'all posted on this cutting this tongue thing. I just know, like, the healing process for that, I just, I don't know. But if any of y'all have had your tongue thing slick to help with grinding or sleeping, if you've experienced that and you've been through that, please comment and tell me how that was for you. Please let me know. what is today today is today is tuesday january the third i got up early i didn't get up at six but i didn't get up at 10 either so i'm very excited i got up like at eight like okay so i was like let me set my alarm for eight like start going off at 7 30 ish then eventually i wake up earlier so i was very excited about that got some things done um i recorded like yeah i'm trying to really learn tiktok like tiktok talk that's how I call it. So I recorded, answered my first question with a video. Then I figured that out because I seen a few people do it. I was like, how do you do that? So anyways, figured that out. I Googled that before I went to bed last night. And now I'm on my way to Starbucks. So I was on Pinterest and um, I was getting pictures like from my vision board and stuff. And I saw the little gadget to where you could put your phone, I mean your camera, on your, you know, your dad. So I bought something before, but I don't know if I did it right. I don't know if the camera was too big, but baby, the girls got the cameras up in the dashboards and I saw it on Pinterest. I was like, okay, let me, let me order that. You know, Amazon came through with the quick delivery. I would definitely link it for my content creators, but fans, cause I got to get back in the house. I got work to do. We working. And I actually didn't even sit on my couch. I moved everything from my, my couch. Uh, my sofa chair, whatever, little seat chair, whatever chair that was. I didn't sit at my island. I actually went to my desk. So with that being said, I'm thinking I have two desks. One for my makeup when I do makeup or whatever. But I'm thinking I might expand it and make it a, put them two together. And make it a little bit bigger because I actually need space. And when I'm, you know, I'm moving. So I was like, but where would I put my computer? But I can't work in my living room. Not the not sitting on those couches. It's not. It's too comfortable or whatever. So we're going to see. And we'll see. We'll see once I start moving in where I'm going to set myself up at. But even if I temporarily have to put two desks together. Maybe because let me tell y'all something. Ikea has some cheap tables. I can go buy me a table and some legs for $20 and be done. But I'm going to see. Because, you know, I still got to film. So I'm going to see. So I'm going to go on Ikea website here short. So I'm about to try and put this together. We're going to see in a second. In a few minutes. Uh, and then I'm running to Starbucks. And give me a refresher all right child here's the tea i sat online one day about six months or so ago or even longer looking for a gadget of this magnitude right so i found this joby joby they had a thing which um i think was really good for like restrooms and things of that nature um even but not the car. And the one I bought, it was really big. And then I feel like my camera, honestly, might have been too big for it. Uh, so pretty much, I'm stoked because, you know, when I be trying to talk to y'all, it be different when you holding a camera and you, you know, you got to focus or whatever the case is. So yeah, so pretty much, um, yeah, they like, the thing was too big and it just wasn't working. I know the way people be talking and driving and they really be into the conversation and they really be driving. And then this thing got like right here, this gadget, it's not too big and it's not taking over. So I'm gonna have to do a review. So she excited and I'm gonna make a video for my peoples so I can put this link on Instagram. So here we are, here we are. Just gotta get in your right in your groove right and just used to picking up your camera yes yeah. but i was doing it to do like mini vlogs for instagram right but i'm 
it's just it's just getting used to picking up your camera. Um, hey, beauty babies, happy Wednesday. How are you guys doing? Let me tell you something. Now that I got this car gadget, y'all, we're going to be in this car. Oh, my God. We're going to be talking, talking. Because half my thoughts be going on in the car. I am headed to Sephora. I'm supposed to be filming. But uh, one side of me, because I'm in a salon tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. I want to go see my new apartment. I seen the model, but I want to go see the actual unit. Monday, it was closed, and yesterday... I was at home fooling with no shins all freaking day, all freaking night. No shins is already a tedious situation. You know, when it comes to me like writing down my goals, and this was more of me doing my goals, vision board, what I want, how do I see my life, and those things. So the thing is, is like, I'm just really wanting to list like, I'm going to do this, 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 this. And she has it separated. The other lady just has just so complicated. And it might not be complicated, but it was complicated for me. And I'm a like a gadget person, but some, you know, some them, them people that, yeah. It's, and she's a very organized person. But for me right now, that's not it. So I'm just set that to the side. Now, six months from now, y'all hear me say, oh, yeah, I opened it back up. And I played with it. And it's just right now, I just want it. And I have so much stuff to do this week. I don't have time and I was on it all day because you know you're thinking of your goals and you know um, the good thing is I can go back and add to it anyways I figured it out and got off it was like nine o'clock then I started watching I got a story to tell hey y'all watched I got a story to tell That's so um where? bam Damn. So I'm about to head over. When Sephora, guess what, y'all? They didn't have the front. They didn't have it, but I ended up buying some Dior lip gloss. Uh, it's a new. Some, it's the same colors. Y'all wear the same damn colors. Like pink. It's going to always be some pink. And then I ordered the front online because I called Sephora at North Park. And it was like, we got 250 boxes. I was like, oh, okay. So let me just order to be there. So I ain't going to use it today to film. After today, I won't be filming nothing. Anything else, not makeup related. Because I'm going to take down all my tripods and my lights and all that. <sighs> that just stressed me out thinking about. I was like, take down my tripods, my lights and all that. I was like, uh, did y'all hear that sign? Hold on. Kind of excited to see the unit I'm moving in. I'm going in there like, you know, because people be with the boo-boos when it comes time to clean up these apartments. When I first started this apartment living after Tyrone graduated, baby, let me tell you something. I moved into that first one-bedroom apartment. It was real cute. I hurried up and moved out that damn apartment. I was in there six months. It was so damn small. And that's like when I was really trying to YouTube. Had a whole YouTube set up in my living room. Yeah, it was the worst. Okay, I was silly out of story. When I moved into my second apartment, I stayed in the same building. I really feel like the maintenance had been going over there. The apartment was immaculate. When in my restaurant, somebody had been taking a bath in the shower. Mm -hmm. I really felt like because I had got my key a day early. And I was in there just walking around, checking everything out. And then the maintenance people had came in. It was like, oh, we didn't know. That's how I know they had been taking a shower. So... I just want to do a nicely walk through doing business hours just in case something's off or something needs to be done so I can um so I can get it situated and like I said I have a thing with my hot water so I need my hot water to be hot um finish my drink Red Bull can y'all see me this one the other green one the white one and the yellow one y'all thank me later the other day when I ate when I went to Grand Lux I ate got enough for two days I'm going to do it again. Getting up for two days. So, okay. When I drove by, I could see where I'm moving. Like, they're townhomes. I could see where I was moving. I seen a truck, but I wasn't for sure if that was, like, my door. It was my door. So, they put new carpet in. You know what? I'm not far. I'm going to pass back through there and see if they're still putting the carpet. He told me once they finished putting the carpet on, I could see it. Uh, I'm going to pass back through there since... I'm literally five minutes, if five from where I'm moving. 
But let me tell y'all, my engine light just came on. I'm so, I done talked to my truck. I done talked to God. I done talked to the devil. I was like, you know what? This ain't it. But I already have an appointment, like, to go get my car service. It is what it is. I just said, Bridget, we're not going to stress about it. So, I'm going to slide through there. Um, if they're still putting the carpet in, then I ain't going to stop. But if not, I'll be like, hey. Because he told me to come back about 5. It's not 5. And I'm going to go home and film. So, it's going to be a long. I don't want to say it's not going to be a long night. Because I know what I'm filming. I got a couple, like, reels I'm going to do. And then, I know what makeup look I'm doing. I ordered the makeup. Now, I ordered a couple other things, like a lip scrub. They had some stuff that was like 50% off. I ordered that also. So, it was a good deal. I really got the itis. But, I'm um, drinking water by the time I get home and get in front of the camera. Everything will be like, pop, pop, pop. I turn all the way up. She lied. We live in this batch. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what exit to take, because... <sighs> The traffic on these side streets be the devil. So I'll talk to y'all later. I'm going to get to the house. And um, everything is really ready to set up. I just got to jot down a few notes. So I won't be saying um. And repeat myself on the camera. And I'll talk to y'all after I put on my wig and some makeup. And stuff. She has finished filming. It's funny how every camera shows differently. But don't I look amazing? Y'all look at, man, look, let me tell y'all this. I used uh, Makeup by Mario. First of all, I like this lip gloss by Makeup by Mario. I bought it, it was on sale. My lips peeling in like an hour, so I'm gonna let y'all know. But I'm gonna go get me something to eat. Then come home and pack a little. Um, and then I'm gonna get up in the morning and do it one more time. Okay. Um, And then I'm putting my camera stuff up. But I'm about to go. This is what I had on so y'all can see. The closing. I'm about to go to. I, go for, I haven't been to Nick and Sam's in a while. Y'all, it'd be some nice looking men in there. Um, and tomorrow, now I'm gonna wake up and film and then pack some more. Cause I might pack tonight. I don't know how I feel. So we'll see. But anyway, so I'm gonna go eat. All right. Hey, Beauty Babes, good morning. It is Thursday, um, 8 a.m. I'm in here about to film one more video. I'm working on this. Uh, trying to get ahead. Last night, went to Nick and Sam's, had dinner. Why? Well, I, I like, I get like an appetizer on the side. I get their um, shrimp tempura and Brussels sprouts. And I forgot to tell them to take the sauce off because I was getting there right before close. But baby, that shrimp tempura by itself, and I get some mashed potatoes. They have garlic mashed potatoes, which are the bomb. So I wasn't in there, I don't eat sushi and all that, but they have good food. So I went there last night, did that. Came home and got myself together, got in the bed. Cause I know I had to be up this morning and I had to be a salon till a bit later. So instead of like lounging and bull corning, cause I'm really working on this year, being intentional. But if I'm not chilling, like it's, it's ain't a chill day. I have to, it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, get my keys Saturday. Sunday moving stuff, Saturday moving stuff, Saturday night is the fight. Javante is fighting. I have to be done. I have people coming over. Yeah, I have people coming over while I'm moving. So I'm cool with that and my friends. So I, I can't, can't be playing with my time. And even looking at tomorrow, like, okay, this, this, this. And I still have things to do to work on, like, my vision board and all that as well. So, like, I have, I didn't count how many hours I have. I wasn't in here long last night filming. And I won't be in here long filming today. But I'm going to take advantage of my time. I haven't been alive on YouTube in a while. I don't know what we're going to talk about, but it'll be some quick. It was just reintroducing myself, saying, hey, this is something I'm about to start doing. That's one thing. And then I'm about to email my clients. Happy New Year. They email client, their email. And, um, oh, I got to submit my content to the, I do that next. So I'm emailing, submitting content, then making a checklist of everything I'm filming. So that's what I'm working on. Like, y'all will see, like, when I move, I move and unpack while I'm moving. That's why I get my keys a few days early before the movers come so I can actually, like my kitchen gonna be done, my clothes will be put up. Like the only thing, like stuff that go in drawers like these Paxton's or whatever, those drawers are gonna, I ain't like the way they moved them last time. Don't hold me to it, the goal is for us, us as me and Tyrone, 
to move those over and just have them sitting waiting for the movers but like all my camera equipment all this stuff like after i film today i'm folding that down i'm packing it that's to go um so yeah so that's what i got going on it's just more so like tuesday and wednesday will be like film days like when i sit down and film what am i filming and just having a checklist to make sure I hit the points and what I'm going to say. Because so I won't be like repeat myself because I repeat myself bad. And I don't want that. And then it just helps me like, okay, this is what we talked about. This is the look we're doing. And to make sure to get this, make sure to get this and this or whatever the case is. So that's that. So that won't take long. But moving forward when I'm planning my content, I have on notions. This part, I, it took me forever to figure that out too. <laughs> this part on notions is like I have it set up. And maybe one day I could show y'all for those of you who's into this or need it, content creating or planning. Like I have it set up to where if I'm doing a YouTube video, I already have it listed with foundation. It is a foundation. I shadow this, this, this. And it's broke down to where the only thing I got to do is get in there and type what I'm using, if it have any benefits, what it does, what I like about it, and just keep moving. So when I sit down and film, and when I'm filming, uh, Notions is on my cell phone. So I can film and have it in front of me and it's not taking up a lot of space. I need to look at it or pause and look at it or whatever. Um, I can do that. So that's pretty much it. So um, I just want to check in. I'll get back on here and show y'all my look once I'm done. But your girl got a few things. I don't want to say quite a few, but she got a few things she needs to get done. And once I get those things done, uh, the goal is to get finished early. If I get finished early, I got some stuff to edit too. Okay guys, so I'm in the car and I'm not going to work. I am so irritated right now. I'm about to go to the Apple store. Once I leave the Apple store, I'm, um, once I leave the Apple store, I'm going to give me something to eat. That was not part of the plan. <laughs> at all but it is what it is it is what ti is so pretty much i was trying to transfer my content i have a memory thingy and it has died i don't think i've had it a year then i was trying to figure out where i bought it from it wasn't best buy so it had to be apple and now i have to go i couldn't upload my content here <laughs> couldn't upload my content and since I couldn't upload my content, I have to leave the house to run to the store really fast to the Apple store. I need to see if I bought it from them. If not, I gotta buy, I gotta buy another one. Like I have one that I take with me that's mobile and I don't know me toting it around, probably messed it up. So I might need a case or something for it. But I haven't been taking it nowhere. I just move it around the house a lot because it goes into the iPad and it goes into my computer since the computer don't have no card holders. The things I can control, I can. The things I can't, I can't. That's what I keep telling myself. But I'm so over it right now. <sighs> I'm just... Mm, got a lot of emotions going on. I'm, I think I'm about to be PMSing because my emotions is like all over the place. And yeah, so I'm going to go um, give me a snack. <sighs> we'll see y'all. I'll talk to y'all shortly because my energy like it's on my energy is normally on the 20 right now it's on the 10. Hey, anyways. <laughs> what's up with it so guess what your girl just got her keys to her new town home it's three levels now before i picked up this camera and film i had to walk over first of all, i had to walk through and be like let me see what's going on and then i had to pray now i can film so yeah so we fixing to do a walkthrough um i just came through the garage yes i missed having a garage so yes i came through the garage and on my first floor the first room we're gonna go into is the makeup room uh which is like the second bedroom so this will be the new content room right here it's a little smaller. I don't think it's smaller. I just think they got this old school air conditioner down here. But there's units throughout the whole townhome. And I'm excited. So I have a window over here. I'm gonna give y'all a peek of the window. There's a peek of the window. So um, I don't know what this natural light gonna be like when I get ready to film my beauty stuff. But the way I'm gonna set things up, which I 
probably show y'all after the fact. My packs is go over here on this wall. Um, so here's the restroom, which is cool. Hey guys. Then I have the closet, which is right here. closet and then y'all know it's three levels and let's see oh the natural light is lighting okay and the sun is not out so i'm really not gonna know how the light is gonna fit but i don't film with natural light so i'm really good in that department but i do like to film i say i don't film with natural light but i like to film like my some of my um beauty like my skincare stuff in front of natural light and the way this is gonna be set up I think it's gonna actually work perfect and I'm supposed to be buying like one light in here so we're about to go up the stairs so now we're on the second level let me turn the camera around and I think I'm more excited about this than anything so I have a closet as soon as I come up the stairs, y'all, my apartment now has no nothing. And here's my kitchen area that I'm mostly excited about because it's big. It's big, like my old apartments. So I'm excited about this. This little kitchen area right here, y'all, just gonna be the bar area and talking about wine my wine thingy which will actually go right here my wine cooler and of course i want some overly expensive i love that it's a window right here there's quite a few windows in here that i really like and i love how spacious this living and dining area is like combined with the kitchen so i'm gonna put my macbook over here in this corner my imac so my workstation, I set up something kind of cute in the corner. And then here's another look of the kitchen from a distance. Like y'all know this island, like I'm excited because there's not a, a sink in my island. And then um, just the space so I can get some different angles uh, when I'm filming stuff. On the second floor, restroom right here okay and then we're gonna go up the stairs and y'all i think i'm more crunk about this area right here because this is where and i love the window again here's my washroom i'm excited about the washroom like when you pass stuff you be like oh i don't need that and then you be like oh yeah i need this but this study area yeah this is gonna be where, let's see, let me go this way. This is going to be, I'm gonna put my Paxton's out here that was in my closet. Then I'm gonna also uh, put my rug that was in my closet out here. And then I'm gonna set a chair, the chair that I actually bought to sit and talk in or whatever out here. And uh, my clothes rack will be so this is just gonna be like straight fashion my fashion area whenever I film my fashion videos Because this is so long that I should be able to set my cameras and get good angles so boom And then my master has a Balcony which I'm so loving. I'm loving the windows. I'm loving the windows um the sun is kind of peeping out, so I'm getting a good feeling of this lighting. And I just realized, like, depending on what's going on, I possibly could be on my skincare stuff in here. I don't know. And then here we go on to. Okay, guys. So I am excited. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. I'm like, oh my God, like, I'm really about to move. I don't think I want to move again until I buy my house. This should be adequately enough i'll say that and then be like oh i saw something i like like i really be on some i see some put it on the goal list and try to get it done but this is gonna be fun the whole purpose of the biggest one of the well, it's two big reasons like hey my lease was up uh, uh 
inflation is a female dog, but the most important thing is content. And my apartment now is cute. I'm on the 15th floor. I have pretty views, but I can't set my cameras up in the kitchen and stuff. So the most important thing was just being smart about it. And one thing I need to do is make my content. And I'm really excited to like get to learn this spot and make it cute. I like that it's gray and white. The backsplash is gray, which is good for filming. Um, I like this gray and white, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm totally excited. I just have a lot to do. Um, maybe we'll ch I'll chit chat back with y'all in a minute, like once I get settled, but I'm trying to watch this fight. My friend, we having a pajama. So this is what I had a BYOE watch. Bring your own everything. I'm moving, I got the fight. Y'all pull up. I ain't hosting like that today. So, uh, of course, I'm gonna make a board or something. And y'all will see, but for my friends and my friends, so they already know. But I need to get to going. Uh, I'm just excited. I got dishes downstairs. I need to wipe everything down. I need to spray. Right. Y'all say hey to Felicia. Felicia, and <laughs> the lighting over here is terrible. So, I done unpacked what I was packing today. Now we're about to get into this fight. We having a pajamas watch party. Um, the cocktail's in there. Felicia looking for the cocktail. She looking for the bleeding. Hey, it's on the couch, but if I try to show her, it's dark over there. That's why I'm over here, because it's the only light. But anyways, I'll see y'all tomorrow. I don't know why. Hey, beauty babes. How you guys doing? It is Sunday. I just got out of church. I am sitting in the parking lot of the church. If you guys see, I have all my fake plants in the back with me because I left my containers. Yeah, so I want to feel put some in my truck and I did like one load because I didn't wake up early for church. I didn't wake up early. I did one load. Like here, let me fill this wagon up with what I can and I just got all my plants. Um I I got all of them. Anything plant related except for I got a box with some stuff in it and I think I'm gonna throw it away. But yeah so um church was amazing. Bishop talked about angels. Look, I got my notes. Angels in your wilderness. Angels in your wilderness. It was good. Uh, today is January 8th. I think if you haven't, make sure to go check that out. And if I also make sure to check out last Saturday and Sunday. Like, all of it's just going together. Church was, that was really, really good. Cause And he was just saying pretty much, like, if you're in your wilderness, the angels are going to be there. Even when you think you're about to break when they know you at the very end that's when the angels be like they got you or when you done went through something you about to lose your mind or something and you you're able to make it through without losing your mind the angels and he said angels are people too it's good um that was that and now i'm about to go to the new apartment put these plants up where we live so yeah so pretty much um, my day is gonna be consistent moving so i'll chit chat with y'all later and I have a wonderful and blessed day. I've been saying that like uh, where I'm from. Baby, let me tell y'all something. Your girl is so, so tired. Look at the background. She moving. Whew. I've been moving since early this morning. Wait a minute, let me start out. What's today? Today is January the 9th. Um, I got Einstein. Y'all look, Einstein movers. Oh, let me tell y'all. They have taken such good care of me. I wish I moved some stuff. I was like, the way you packed them clothes, I wish I would let you move everything else. And I have to go back to my old apartment, clean up, get my shoes. Here come the movers. It's um Jason and Jack. J and J. Did I say that right? Jason. Jack and Jack. Hello. <laughs> Did you say Jeff? Yes. Oh, y'all, they have done such an amazing job. Like, they laid some stuff out on my floor. I was like, oh, y'all fancy. They got the doors protecting the walls. So if y'all looking for a mover, I ain't get no sponsorship. I ain't get no discount. And I'm just, they good people. If you're in Dallas and y'all need to be moved, hit Einstein Movers. As for Jeff and Jack, I know they just some J's. But anyway, so after this, I'm a, I think I'm going to eat. I don't know, I just want to go get finished at the other apartment and uh, get settled in. So, I don't know what eating is going to be like. It might be like order some pizza or something. I don't know what's over here. Um, 
But I'm gonna figure out something. I might touch bases with y'all tonight, and I might not. If not, I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. I'll probably sleep till tomorrow night because I'm tired. These three levels of stairs, my thighs are burning. I don't know what the hell. Like, my thighs are burning. So, um, I don't know. But I'll jump back on here later. If not, I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Well, hey, beauty babes. Um, I'm going to say good morning because it's morning time. Ooh, child. Let me tell y'all. I'm downstairs in the content room. So, you see, I've kind of already set my desk up up here, which I'm liking. And then the living area is still, here, let me stand over here. In the kitchen, it's still a disarray. And so this is stuff that still needs to go in the cabinets over there. So it's just still junky. And like, this is stuff that needs to go downstairs. So when I walk through the house, I got my zen going. I got my candles lit. I got my praise and worship is on right now. So... But, you know, I had to pause it to get on camera. Praise and worship is going. I'm a little hungry. But I just got, like, a lot of stuff. I don't know where it is. And I don't like that. Okay, guys. So, this is my hallway. These are things that need to go up into my bedroom. And this is what we're looking at right now. And I don't like it at all. But, like I said, I'm organizing... Um, my packs open this. they're empty so I put my bags back up there which is cool so um, that's what I got going on right now pretty much I um, I organized that drawer without them plugs in it that's where I put my cameras like my camera plugs and stuff so I did that and then I um, I moved some things around like like I said I have a lot more storage area so I, I'm utilizing that instead of putting everything where it was and that's it so I'm about to I don't know I gotta probably order some pizza just give me like a pepperoni piece or something from Domino's and um I got a lot to do and it's like stuff still in the garage so what I'm doing is is um I get this stuff out the garage because it's some clothes on like that. But that's what I'm doing. So I'll check in later. Um, definitely gonna probably order me a pizza and I'll check in later and we'll chit chat then. Other than that, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Whenever you see this, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Okay, guys, I have been here all day. So the room is coming along. It's came along. The floor is clear. I have put my drawers back in my wardrobe. My makeup for the most part is organized. Um, I kind of forgot where stuff was and stuff. I was like, oh, they don't fit. So yeah, so I'm excited. And I think so. so this is the makeup I filmed with last but I want to film with some more so I was like let me just throw this out over here and the drawers are done the only thing I have to do down here is put these lights up in my stands and then the other stuff is stuff I need to film and let me tell y'all the way the sun sets in that makeup room I'm loving it look at the sunset over here uh oh I'm about to drop these glasses let me see Look how that sun is setting. I looked at the time too. We should, I don't know cause the lines, but if nothing else, I can get some good skincare pictures with um, the lines and the shadows. It be kind of hit and miss. And I'm still over here. And this is what's next. This corner of stuff. Once I get that done, uh, like this go upstairs for my TV the little black thing and all this little stuff on the floor. I go through and throw away what I don't need. But this is the next thing is to get these cabinets and stuff clean. And this goes downstairs. I'm about to turn on my music, warm up some pizza, have me a ginger ale. I wish I had some orange soda. Have me some ginger ale and finish. So the goal is to be 80% done today, but I have to take a break in a minute. So when I take a break, I'm going to eat, finish this, try to bring some stuff in. 
like my facial stuff, I let stuff downstairs. And I'm doing something different with that, but I just want to bring it in. Bam, bam, bam. It's hum day Wednesday, and your girl ain't got no hump in her. <laughs> no, I took a bath last night in some Epsom salt. Fixed me a nice little cocktail. I slept so good. I had the Dr. Till's lavender Epsom salt. <sighs> Y'all, I almost fell asleep in the water. So I got a few things I need to do, but before I do anything else around this house, well, I'm, I'm trying to put some stuff up in my room. I got some packages, and then also, um, yeah, so that's what I'm about to do. I don't know what it's like outside, so let me step on the patio and see, but I'm just going to throw a hat on right now because... Mm hmm okay guys so um i did a few things and i was like you know what before i get to working too hard let me just go into this apartment and wrap it up turn in my key and everything so this is just give y'all a glimpse of where i was or whatever um this is something i was able to check off my goal list I really wanted to stay in some apartments, uh, high rise, concierge, and all that. Like, this was a dope year and a few months. And, you know, this is pretty much over. That chapter of my life is closed, completely closed, because the way that rent set up, it was like. But no, seriously, um, I just thank God. Like, it's something to check off my goal list. I don't want to say bucket list. It was a goal of mine. And I was able to do it. Realistically, if I had to do it all over again, I would. Um, and then, you know, I want to be married, right? I want to be married. So I need to get some things out of my system. So when I come together with somebody as one, my husband, uh, I want to be somewhere like, can we go stay on the 15th, the 20th floor, and this, 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 now if we go buy something like that, yeah. But I done got some things out of my system. And I'm just why I'm just having fun, you know, because I was a parent half my life. Okay? It entered 20, and boom, I was having kids. So now I'm just focusing on me, um, growing, healing, uh, generational wealth, things of that nature. But the last, Tyrone graduated, um, it's been me. It focuses me. I still have Tyrone, like my older son stays out of town, but this one here. But this last year is just like, you know, I'm just gonna focus more on me and me. I'm still a parent, but I'm gonna focus on me. I'm always be a parent, but I'm gonna focus on me. And I just been doing things that make me happy and things that I enjoy. Um, and I don't think about nobody else. I'm tap bit selfish right now. I'm being very selfish. Because most of my life, I had to think about others. Not no more. And it's okay to be selfish for yourself. My kids are still a top priority. But I'm being selfish. So they, they use some no's and whatever the case is. But I just really like, it's been about me. And even now, I'm moving. Uh, I was like, okay, either I'm going to get a rent house, I'm going to get a town home. It's going to be one or the other. And I was like, hmm, let me, I'm going to stay on three levels. I stayed some town homes. I ain't had three levels, but my calves ain't like these three levels right now. But no, once I get situated and stuff, everything will be good. But this has been a blessing. It was fun. I thank God every day. I thank God. Like, I come from the projects. I was in the projects. I stayed in Pleasant Grove on Bluff Creek. Shout out to the PG. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, stayed in the turn of courts, South Dallas, Texas. Like, I stayed in a high rise. Come on, God. You know, I ain't, you know, well, I seen some people do it after the fact. Like, I was grown, grown, and that's what inspired me. God has put some wonderful people in my life, but come from nothing. Nothing, y'all. Nothing. Like, I just knew when I was young, I'm gonna do hair, I'm gonna do hair. I'm gonna be a celebrity hairstylist. I said that all the time. In the projects, they was like, girl, you're going to be right here with us. God says something different. My work ethic says something different. My faith and belief in myself says something different. And I'm just getting started. I'm just getting started. New levels. We, we doing some different ish around here. But honestly, y'all, like, this has just been amazing. Like, when I sit and look at where I come from, 
the things I've been through. Like, it's nobody but God. So when y'all hear me talk about God and my faith with God and God this and God that, and we talking about a kid, like a young kid. And my mom and my daddy both were some dope things at one point of their lives. And my daddy got killed when I was 20. He was 36. Yeah. 20, 36. Yeah. So, yeah. My daddy was 36. I'm 46. I outlived my daddy. Mm -hmm. So, when I'm thinking and overlooking my life, I'm thinking about all that. All of it. A single mama. A single mama to two. Right? Doing hair. I ain't never had no... I had a job but not no real job, you know? So here's hustling, grinding is all I know. And just to look at where God has brought me, you can't say like, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. And I don't know how y'all be like, I don't know, I don't hear about all that. Baby, let me tell you something. If, I, if you can't do nothing but look at me, that's why I have my buddy church every Sunday. That's why I tie. My battery died, but I'm about to, because I need to go turn my keys in. I just want to share that with y'all. God is so amazing, and I come from none. So when y'all look at people on this internet, and y'all be like, oh, they just got it so easy. This is this, this. You never know one some no one's story. You never know what somebody done been through. You never know. And let's quit being jealous of people and just uplift them. Anyways. I'll talk to y'all later, but I just wanted to be just really transparent with y'all. So it's just moving and doing grown things and being mature. And I know with this content, I want to kick out. She needed some bigger space and cheaper rent. Cheaper rent. So it is Friday late afternoon. I'm actually, um, might also want to come hang up my TV. And I'm uploading content, an old video. I don't need to edit it. Let me let the editors edit it. So I'm uploading that. Today I'm going through the content real fast. Actually, I'm done. I was just going through notes or whatever. And I was like, oh my God, I didn't get on the camera. I said, y'all, just been working. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Let me tell y'all what happened. So I don't know if you guys, those of you who follow me on Instagram, Oh, you see, I wear a lot, a lot. Of, I really shop at Express, right? I shop at Express. Um, I was an Express ambassador in the last few months of the year. I really took advantage of it, like in a good way. Um, another uh, influencer from Houston, I was asking her questions, and she gave me the, the tea and told me how to how to make it work in my advantage. Well, anyways, y'all woke up yesterday morning. That's how y'all know I was tired. I woke up yesterday morning and I had an email. I am on Express. Hold on, let me make sure I say it right because it's so freaking dope. I am a part of their, their style editors. I am a part of Express Style Editors. Um, they had a call today, y'all. This is like, so when I initially, because I shop at Express. So I love I love Express in North Park. That's my favorite Express store. Express in North Park is my favorite. The store manager is bomb. The staff is bomb. And it's big AF, right? So I, I'm in there all the time, even just for content. Like, I just shop in there because, you know, first of all, I'm bad bill, little bad bill. No, my stomach big, my thighs are small, so the pants be fitting me. And the clothes, like, they have, like, they, they it's just, like, on point. So, anyways. So, I um, end up shopping all the time. So, they had told me something about it. So, when I was signing up for the Express Ambassadors, that's what I was trying to sign up for. Like, if you're an up-and-coming influencer, content creator, this time last year, I was trying to figure it out. I was figuring it out. I had just said, I'm going to be consistent. And it's paying off. So, whenever y'all see something from Express and I post Express, y'all please click them links. Click the links. Like, it's direct. Everything. Like, it's it's, it's a blessing. Some good opportunities off in there as well to work with. Like, y'all, this is a great opportunity. And I fool with Express. I can see all Express clothes. And I don't just wear Express clothes. But I fool with Express have good sales and they have some dope stuff. And what they've been doing, once they sell out, they ain't bringing it back. So, if you don't jump on it when they jump, they jump, they jump. 
and I ain't been out seeing nobody. You see people in the, if you know their stuff, especially the new stuff, like when they dropping stuff, because I'm in the store so much, you know. The content's gonna be content. I'm gonna be all in their stuff film tomorrow. Get ready with me, outfit ideas. Okay. I'm serious. Um, but yeah, so that said, um, I got an email for that. I got another email too. Um, y'all, the emails is coming. I just need the the, the the it's like we right here, we right here. So I need and I need y'all to engage. I need y'all to be supportive. I need y'all to engage. I need y'all to talk to me on these videos. I need y'all to talk to me on them posts. I need y'all to be engaged and join the community. All that because once once we really start hitting, I'm gonna be texting y'all direct. Before I drop a video, I'll be like, hey sis, here are all the links to everything I did because in a minute when I drop stuff, it's gonna sell out. We're gonna speak that and put that into the universe. Yes, Jesus, I receive that in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Now seriously, so I'm sitting over here at this computer. Look y'all, I was like, I'm sitting over here at this computer. I'm about to get my work done. Uh, this man, he'll be here in 20 minutes. And I need to upload this content. And I, while he's putting my TV up, because he's going to be up in my room. So I'm going to be up there with him. I need to put together some... Um, I ain't posted a reel. I ain't posted a tick. I ain't posted a talk. I think tomorrow, whenever I get off work, um, the focus will be like editing that. And that's pretty much it. So um, I'll chat with y'all. Y'all see my... Hold on. Let me see something. Y'all see my baby hairs? Ooh, all oh, the baby hairs, baby. The the Sony ZV one is giving. God is so. Y'all gonna get. I'm gonna start crying. I'm like, I don't cry. I have a tear. I have like a slight tear come out my eye. I've been asking God like, whatever it is that stops me from being. I'm not. I'm emotional, but God is so amazing. God is so good. Like God is so good. I felt like God. It's good. It's giving God. It's giving good. It's amazing. I'm so blessed. Like, I'm really so blessed. I'm just sitting here talking to y'all thinking like this time last year. Like, y'all don't understand these people be emailing me now. I'm getting stuff. <sighs> Hallelujah. Just thank you, Jesus. Like, I'm, I can't have no music on while I'm talking to y'all. So I'm going to put my praise and worship on um, because I'm going to go have fun afterwards. And y'all, thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you guys and thank you. Like I can just say thank you. Just get ready. Just get ready to get on to go on this ride with me. If I go up, you go up. If I'm blessed, you bless. Cause as others pour into me, I'ma pour into you. As God bless me, I'ma bless you. Period. Best thing about her is all of the green. She don't be stopping, she get what she needs. Stop by my honey, better be calm. Look at her funny. We're gonna brawl, do it 100. I'm bringing the chalk and for my next number. I'm